Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Sarah, I want his head. We will hold the line! Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Not and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, with A Gore team. Manovai, Teato teams, move! Time to get some attention. Manovai is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long-range turrets helping the F target. Targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. They're calling sat strikes. Diego, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Salarian teams to handle. Williams can take a few more. Minimize the guard presence in the base. I hope they're ready for this. Hello? Is someone out there?
Well, you're not a Gath, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Ganto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Everyone here is indoctrinated. You might be working for Saren. My whole team was altered, but I was left alone as a control subject. I still have my senses, although I almost wish I didn't. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. If I let you out, how do I know you won't just attack me? It's obvious that I'm not crazed or drooling like the others. Let me out and I'll stay out of your way. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. There's nothing left of them. Ah, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but to leave them like this. Better to die than to live like this. I've never agreed more, Shepard. It's what I would want. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. He's not part of the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. 
Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Ah! You enjoyed that, Commander. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. Where are the rest of the Reapers? 
Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all meekness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there, fast. This console's been disabled. Orders, Commander. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set! We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Elenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Elenko. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Fight hard, Lieutenant. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander.
has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines, and in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die.
All right, everybody, hang on! I... I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? We had to leave him behind. Saren has to be stopped at any cost. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. Chief Williams, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Do not question my orders. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Ash, how far are you gonna drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. The hell it isn't. I don't want a Marine with a death wish covering my back. Get over it. Aye, aye, Commander. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it and tell me what you saw. It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images. Locations. Places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the Cypher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. What you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw a mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence, this news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough! Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. 
This discussion is only a minor disagreement. We seem to have a lot of disagreements, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us.